family. I can't clear a shopping again. I actually went in Walmart looking for three things. I got two of those three. And you know I had to find that clearance for y'all. Garden clearance is on and popping. Now is the time. Check your stores. Check the stores that are near like a lot of apartment complexes, trailer parks, things like that to see if there's any leftover garden clearance. Since those are areas where gardens are not prominent. So some of that stuff kind of lingers and you might look out. Hopefully you caught my short or where I found a whole cordless battery heart vacuum, stick vacuum for $32. Check out that short. So I spent $46, but I think I mistakenly did not pay for something that I got. But Lord forgive me. Lord forgive me. So I got this, which this is not on clearance. I just needed to finish a project. And I think sometimes when you buy levels, they could lose that leveling effect. So you always need to check them in the store because they could be off center. So you have to kind of check them on something in the store that may be actually level. So I did get that. That's old. Okay. So this, though it says $9.50. I found one with a tag on it and scanned it. This is a Better Homes and Garden 12 inch. It could be used for a plant stand or a counter stand or like a raised tray. They It says $9.50. It was regular $12.88, but it really rang up $4.50. So get in there and start scanning. I also have, and at the end, I'm going to do a quick little Marshalls haul. They have a lot of red tag clearance. I went in there looking for something, didn't get it, but um, end up with something else. But I was good, and I only bought two things, so. Uh, this, wasp and mud dobbler traps. I've been getting mud dobblers and corners. I do pay for pest control. Yes, wasps are pollinators, but I don't, I stick to the bees. So I'm going to try this trap, especially to get those mud dobblers, because I'm tired of them making their little tunnels on my house. So this was only a buck, regular $2, marked down to one. So, eh, okay deal. Then, got some big items. Weed barrier. Weed barrier prevents weeds and grass up to eight months for those beds. And this was regular $16. Marked down to seven bucks. So I only bought one of these because seven still kind of steep to me. But again, it still have price. And you got to look at buy this stuff during this season because you're still good next year and it's going to be back to them 16 if not 18 next year so get it now for your spring you know garden front yard refreshes and all that kind of stuff you're going to need all your fertilizers if you can find those get those now um on sale on clearance they regular price you you just kind of wait till next year so this was regular price but this was one of the things i went for i saw a short where a cleaner said this really works in my floor in my kitchen. My new floors is like three years old. That grout's looking a little dingy. So I'm going to try this to get it clean. And the bathrooms. There's some grout issues in the bathroom. So I did get that. That's like $7.50, $7.48. Same price at Lowe's. But Lowe's was completely out. So it must be a decent product since they sell out of it. And then I also bought a little level. Cause I'm about to hang some pictures or this might have been the thing that was forgotten to be wrong that, that they forgot to ring up but this was done is done and then fruit and citrus plant food the spikes that you put around the tree this is regular $12 and it was half off it for $6 so this should fertilize at least two of my trees because it says 
four foot, six foot trees, three spikes, and this has 12 spikes in it. So this should really fertilize pretty much most of my trees. And um, I'll probably put those down in like January. Oops, sorry. Then this. So this is when you're doing diatomaceous earth or something to kind of treat for bugs. This is a, a powder sprayer. And it's a little tube in here. It's all, you know, mostly garden stuff. So I like to explain these things. So you put your diatomaceous earth in here. Earth. Earth. <laughs> diatomaceous earth. And then you stick that little tube on. And you kind of just go around puffing, 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 puffing onto the plants. So this is, and you apply this in the morning after it rains for the bugs and all of that good stuff. So I thought that was cool to have, and it was regular two dollars, only a dollar. Now stuff like this I don't see during the regular season when it's two dollars, but then somehow it magically appears in my view for clearance. But I only bought one of those. So that's all I really need. Now I bought some of these last year. They were in a two pack for two dollars. Y'all remember my haul from last year? But this time it's only a one pack. For four dollars, and uh, it works. It it really really works. So this is the bio fungi side, and it's regular fourteen dollars. No, no, it says no. Nope. I saw something said fourteen. Hold up. So I don't know which one it is. See, this one says regular fourteen ninety eight. So I guess you cannot trust these stickers. This one says regular seven. So, but they were $4 a piece. And from what I've heard, it actually works. I need these for a project. And these were $1.58. But let's see. We got to finish that room. That final series of the room is coming. I got a few more finishing touches. And design and decor. And the one thing I was looking for was a nice plant. I want a certain variation of snake plant that's hard to find. I saw it somewhere and I said I want that. But I can't find that. But I'm going to find it. But it, either way, I'm going to do the room because I got my, I can remove some plants from my greenhouse bathroom and put, you know, them up there for now. So, this fly punch fruit fly traps it was regular four dollars marked down to two so i only got one of these but i guess you open it up let's see open it up and i guess the fruit flies just fly in i don't know if, if you've ever tried these comment down below and let me know if they really work and i got that because i did buy this now i'm gonna try this but I don't know how it's going to work out. And good thing I didn't spend a lot of money for it. I kind of want the automatic one. But I said I'm going to try this first. See how diligent I am doing it. But these were at Marshall's. Countertop compost bin. Nice stylish. Supposed to be, you know, a good closing lid. To get the keep flies out. And you just put your kitchen scrap and empty them every few days into my composting place bin and this was on, on clearance for four dollars and fifty cents so your banana peels your eggshells your scraps from cutting onions uh all of that don't put no bell pepper seeds because the bell pepper seeds gonna grow but you know the little scraps from cutting fruits and vegetables and then this so this is the k cup filter so if you have a cure reg but want to use regular coffee instead of k cups because it's a lot stronger that way and this is only four dollars on clearance at marshall's so and it looks like it has what is one or two it's four of them in here four so just in case four people in your house drinking different coffees you know you don't have to you can kind of use them and then wash them at the end of the night for the next day so I only spent nine dollars at Marshall, so something was actually cheaper than that. It was four dollars and four fifty. Okay, so that's eight fifty, nine dollars and fourteen cents. 
Then I got my new specs. Y'all want to see the reveal? Okay. So I go, if you're in Jacksonville, I get my glasses in River City. But I might go somewhere else just to try to just a little different. So I did get a new pair of the Gucci. I, I keep my frames because I may go back to them and just change the lenses as the time goes on. Because these glasses ain't cheap at all but i might want to go back to this this is like a classic style i can't see nothing this is like a classic style and i may go back to this but let me know what you think i can see so much better and I got another classic style every day. I got to wear these. I Sometimes I fall asleep in my glasses. So it's just like, mm -mm. I, I have to wear these now. I never thought I would see this day. I never, ever, ever thought I would see these day. But I have to wear these now. So how you like those? Ah, let me know in the comments below. But, uh. Like I say, I got um, another pair, and I may go back to the other pair and get the lenses changed. It kind of switch out every few years, but the frames are solid. They can be reused. Just change the prescription. So, I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for that last part of the makeover series. It's been three months. I started that in August, but we, you know. It started as a two week and then it went two months. Now it's on the third month. But we're going to finish that. And then we're moving on to another project. I got two more projects to finish in the next three, four more weeks. So stay tuned. You might enjoy it. And we still out there going. And check out my shorts. These The shorts. I, I do post food. I am eating out my garden. I ate some. Sweet potatoes from the totes, some beets, all of that. And ooh, I hope y'all don't see that on my nose. So I may also share my hospital experience. Hospital experience after 2020. Because I was in the hospital and some things happened. And we might have to talk about it. But I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Plant a seed, plant a seed, plant a seed. And I love you to life. Bye-bye. Stay safe out there.